Hey everyone, it's your boy man here giving you another video and this time I'm doing it in rec room my little custom room here in rec room. So um, This is where I'm probably gonna Do a couple more of my videos because I like the fact that they let me put out a camera and oh well Let's get straight to the point. What I want to talk to you about today is the The yaw uh, motion simulator pretty much what it is is a gaming chair oh i gotta back myself up here a little bit all right good pretty much what it is is a gaming chair so let's rub this crap off right here first all right and what it looks like is like this so it's like a little And then you kind of sit in it with your head up here, hands coming out here, legs coming off, and then it has a little thing that your legs can sit on top of. Gotta love my artwork, right? Now, this thing is pretty awesome, actually, right? Because what it allows the, the game or you to do in the game is it, it will tilt up and down. And then I mean, lean right and left. Oh, we're pretty much like, you know, right and left. <laughs> and then anyway, it also um, will swing you around. So you can go 360 degrees. So I think that is going to be a phenomenal thing, right? So I can even just picture myself with certain games right now with this thing. All right. A little too close. going to back up over here. All right, got it. Uh, 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 all right, good. As best as I can get it now, right? So there's a few things that I always picture myself with doing something like this, right? So unlike everyone, I don't really have that want to go 360 degree. So about a 45 degree angle and then off center will be perfect for me. And then I'll, I'm definitely going to want it to, to lean from side to side. So like when I'm doing any chafing or anything like that, I want it to kind of lean and then tip from the side to side so I can get that kind of John Woo double gun kind of feel. You know what I mean? While I'm playing. Now, one of the things is when I saw this, I had to reach out to the guys because I had a few questions. You know what I mean? Because I noticed how low you sit in the chair. Remember, I told you. You kind of come up, your head is right here, and then your hands kind of come out right about here, right? So most VR guys want you to put your hands down in order for you to reload your gun. Now, it could change over time where you just push a button and your guns reload, but who knows for right now, right? So what I did ask of them is if there was a way to maybe install your gaming chair in there. So your gaming chair will probably come out something like this, right? So that means you will sit up more up here and your hands will be right about here. And legs come on out and on top of that thing right there. Now, this is a very um, enticing thing to me right there. I'm going to move back here. Yeah, this, even though it looks like crap right now, is very enticing to me. Yeah, the legs come up right here. Mainly because now your hands is a little bit more above the actual piece here. Right? So your hands being a little bit more above that piece here means that you now can lower your arm and shoot your gun and everything like that. So what they have said is after the Kickstarter, they might experiment with something like this, you know, trying in to see if there's a way of mounting any other like gaming chairs or anything like that. Now, if they can do that, I am all in. Or if they can just get you, like you sit it up just a little bit higher and I know balancing and the fact that the way this thing works might be a little bit of issue, but if they can pull it off, and put some base kickers in this so I can get some little bit of haptic feedback with like explosions or anything like that. 
Oh my God, I am totally in. So that's hopefully there's growing that. So they're only trying to get to 150 on Kickstarter currently right now. And so last time I look, uh, hold on, let me double check here. Whoops. Yeah, the last time I look, it was at about a hundred and it was at about fifty thousand. Right, it was about fifty thousand the last time I take a look. So hopefully it's a lot higher than that because I want this Kickstarter to succeed because I want to buy one of these next year. You know, so I'm going to also invest in there just to kind of, you know, stay on top of what's been going on. All right. So currently now they're at um, fifty three thousand. All right, so they're fifty three thousand. So I think you guys can just get in there, put whatever you can. Let's get these guys over the top because this is going to be a very awesome thing if we can get this now into our VR stuff. You know, people, it's going to be a phenomenal thing. Get this out of my hand. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be definitely awesome. Like, I can just now picture, you know, what I mean, like having one of these in my room right now have it all set up with a cable management system and just have a total ball and be completely immersed in, in my games um because of the the fact that i'll finally get these swiveling motion without actually you know having to use my feet in order to do that i'll just be caught up in the moment of the game and also like it does give you kind of like a little tabletop thing that you can put on for like your steering wheels or a hota so even picture um playing star citizen when it finally hits vr or even just playing star citizen period uh with a screen set up for this i think it will be phenomenal but anyway people i think that's enough of me rambling on remember go out support this thing i think it's going to be a phenomenal thing for vr especially for us seated gamers um, it is pretty expensive so far. It looks like a thousand dollars for it. So that's why I'm not going to buy one up front right now, but I'm going to definitely um, put into the Kickstarter and hopefully that it makes it out of Kickstarter. And then once they produce it, it might be a little bit cheaper, uh, but it gives me more time to save up and get one if not. All right, people one.